Hello curls! Today I am going to do the TMI tag. It's a tag that's going around on YouTube and the latest one that I've seen was my girl Janelle. Hey Janelle! <laughs> so I decided to jump on the TMI tag bandwagon. So it's going to be a really long video. I already know because you guys know I ramble so much and there's like 50 questions so let's get right into it and i hope you guys stay tuned for these answers all right so the first question is what are you wearing i am wearing a varsity jacket that i got from charlotte roost like a year or so ago um just a plain white t-shirt this beanie is from sheinside.com Necklace for my boutique, earrings for my boutique, bamboo, chunky gold chain. And my nails are from um, Messy Varnish, which they are a sponsor for my um, upcoming event in New York. And they customize these press-ons and you just do them yourself at home. And I have on just leggings and some red slippers. <laughs> um, ever been in love? Yes, I have. Ever had a terrible breakup? Yes. Devin and I have been together f for almost nine years now, and we have broken up a few times, and every single one of them were really terrible. How tall are you? I don't know if I'm five foot or 4'11", give or take. <laughs> um, how much do you weigh? My weight is very embarrassing because the heaviest I've been was after I had Skylar and I weighed 173 pounds and I don't even know I mean I think I weighed before I got pregnant with her I probably was like 130 so I gained a lot of weight and after I had her I got down to 145 but right now I weigh 160 pounds I don't know how I'm not pregnant and I definitely have been trying to like get it together and I have lost a few pounds um, but yeah embarrassing and I want to get down to 130 any tattoos yes I have so many I have a um, Japanese symbol that says beauty on my show my back um like kind of like my shoulder blade I guess um, I have this horrible strawberry and rose tattoo on my arm I hate it um, I have a princess tattoo because my dad used to call me princess when I was little on my ankle oh I have a tramp stamp <laughs> um, and I think that's it yeah any piercings yes I have three piercings in each of my ears I have my nose pierced I used to have my belly pierced and my tongue pierced in college oh my gosh <laughs> But those aren't there anymore. Um, OTP? What does that mean? I don't know what that means. Does that mean I'm old? Ugh. I'm really bad at these whole acronyms and short, I don't know, these like shorthand terms. I don't know what that means. If you guys know what OTP means, leave it in the comments below. Alright, favorite show. <sighs> You guys, I have a lot of favorite shows. Of course, Scandal. I love Scandal. But I'm not a diehard Scandal fan like most of you guys. I believe in saving money. So I don't have cable. Cable is freaking expensive. So we just have Xbox Live. And then we have our own little apps that we download on Xbox Live. And we have Hulu and Netflix and whatever. Whatever. I mean, <laughs> what other whatever other channels we want we just download the app and so scandal comes on hulu which is next day tv so i don't get to watch scandal when everybody else does i just ignore my facebook timeline ignore twitter and i just wait until it shows up on hulu but yeah i love that show my second favorite would have to be lost I am obsessed with Lost. I don't even know if it's still on air or not, but I pretty much have watched every season back to back on Hulu. That's why I love Hulu. So yeah, I love that show. What else? Scandal, Lost, and 
New Girl. Oh my gosh, I love New Girl. I love Zoe De Chanel. Love her. Um, let's see. Favorite bands. Ugh. I don't have a favorite band. I don't listen to bands. Something you miss. Hmm. I honestly miss um, when things were like simple when I was younger. Like I feel like um, social media, even though I love social media, I feel like it has changed the whole world. Like I think it's changed everything, especially like family. There are some people who still have that strong family bonds and all that, but I feel like in my family, it's not like that and I think that's a part of just growing up and having your own little family so it's hard to stay connected with all the other you know family um, members but my family doesn't stay in you know in contact there's barely any communication except social media um but when i was younger i used to hang out with my favorite cousin kina every single day all day we basically were like sisters so i miss that and our family especially my dad's side we used to go on a trip every weekend and we used to alternate between bowling and skating of course the grown-ups like bowling but it was fun for us kids too and then our we love skating at the skating rink in Dover Delaware <laughs> um, so we used to take like a big old white van and we used to all do this every weekend so that was just like when everything was more simple and family was like most important but now it's just changed so I really miss that and I don't know how to get it back like it's nothing that I can do solely by myself like it would have to be like a family thing that we all agreed on and just stuck with it but it seems like it's such a difficult and almost impossible task so I definitely miss that um my favorite song hmm I don't have a favorite song you guys I don't really listen to music like Devin's into music I'm not really into music I love what he's doing but I really don't have a favorite song. I guess I could say a favorite CD. And, um, oh shoot, my phone's about to die. Um, yeah, I'm gonna skip that question because I don't really have a favorite song. Um, how old are you? You guys, this is funny. I forget how old I am sometimes. I think I'm 31. Taylor, how old am I? Mommy's, you're 32. I'm 32? Yes, your birthday does pass. Wait, what's my birthday, Taylor? Are you it's, sure? Oh, uh -huh, you're 32. Your birthday does pass. Taylor, 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 Taylor said I'm 32. Alright, I'm about to do the calculator. You guys probably think I'm joking. I'm so serious. Alright, it's 2014 minus 1983. I'm 31, Taylor. I'm 31. Dad is 32. What's my birthday? You guys probably think I'm joking, but I'm so serious. I forget how old I am. Zodiac sign. I'm an Aquarius. Qual quality you look for in a partner. Mm. I mean... <laughs> I mean, I'm with Devin, but as you guys know, relationships are really hard. And um, our biggest thing... See, and I don't, I I bet you they're wanting me to say physical qualities, but that's not what I look for. Like, once I, I don't know, I guess at first you do go by kind of like the physical qualities, but since me and Devin are already together, like, I look for other things like good communication. Like, that is like a huge to me, and we suck at it. So, yeah, we need to work on our communication. Um favorite quotes um definitely carpe diem i really believe in that like you need to seize the day take advantage of your full 24 hours like seriously i oh my god i really believe in that like i honest and i'm doing a video about this like i really wish everybody could just do everything that they love it's nothing that's stopping you the main thing that stops people is money um and time and you don't need that much money and you have all the time in the world to do whatever you want so um yeah definitely see carpe diem um favorite actor 
you want to know what my favorite actor right now is from new girl and i suck at remembering people's names but i really like um coach off of that show and i knew his dad was one of the wayans brothers and i don't know the kid's first name well he's not a kid i think he's like the same age as me um but I love him. I love him. I think he acts just like his dad. He's really funny and cool. And yeah, I even follow him on Instagram. Stalker. <laughs> um, favorite color? Definitely black. Duh. <laughs> loud music or soft? Soft. Oh my God. I hate loud music. Like, oh my gosh. I hate it with a passion. I hate loud anything. Loud TV, whatever. It drives me insane. I can't concentrate. If I'm in a car and, like, I need to, like, find where I'm supposed to be going, if the music is too loud, I always turn it down because it drives me crazy. It does. It, like, messes with my concentration. So yeah, definitely soft music. Um, where do you go when you're sad? <laughs> this is so weird. I either go to my bedroom and like get in the bed or I'll just sit in the bathroom. Like even if I don't have to use the bathroom, I'll just sit on the toilet and just sit there. <laughs> um, how long does it take you to shower? Um, it depends if I'm just showering like 10 minutes <laughs> but if I have to like shave everywhere and wash hair and all that stuff oh my god it could take like an hour how long does it take you to get ready in the morning forever like seriously forever because I have to get myself ready my girls ready and it takes pretty much all day <laughs> <laughs> yeah it takes a long time I would have to say three hours definitely three hours an hour to shower and everything another 30 minutes for the girls picking out clothes ironing clothes doing makeup doing hair yeah it takes forever um, ever been in a physical fight yes I have unfortunately um, I think my first fight ever was with, um, and you know what, I hope my girl Ashley watches this because Ashley Mason, she has been supporting me lately so much. Like, yes, I love the support and I feel how genuine she is. Um, but I think she was my first fight when we were little. I mean, really young, like young little girls. And I remember it was my brother, and I don't know if it was her brother, Kevin, or just one of my brother's random friends. We were at my grandmother's house, and they made us fight. Like, we were together as friends, and for some reason, they got us to fight. It was so weird. Um, so, yeah, that was when I was really little. And then when I was in middle school... I had a fight with my cousin Kina. I remember we were at the playground. It was sad because I loved her. And honestly, I could have tore her up. But I'm not like that. I don't like fighting. So I just did enough to like restrain her. But I didn't fight her back really. So that was like kind of weird. I think she thought that she beat me up. But no, I just didn't fight back. And, and then another supporter of mine, which is crazy, Heather Carmichael. And I bet you she's going to kill me because she doesn't like people using her government name. <laughs> but um, she is an awesome supporter and, like, motivator of mine. She even um, suggested that I start my blog, etc. Blog Mag. And, yeah, like, she, she pushed me to do that. So I always shout her out in, like, all my interviews and everything. Um, but she actually fought me in college like she was sloppy drunk at college and she was really good friends with my ex-boyfriend Jonathan and she also was dating Jonathan's good friend Reggie and I remember Reggie no me and Jonathan were talking at the ATM we had broke up and it was just like messy um and I remember her and Reggie coming in and I had just got this stupid strawberry rose tattoo you guys I had just got it. it still had like the plastic on there and it hurt it was my first tattoo in college and I remember them coming in um, the 
I forgot what the building was called, but the it was like a rec center. And I remember them coming in and she was drunk and I mean, it was so random. She like just hated me, I guess, because of me and Jonathan's messy breakup. And she like punched me like right in the face. It was the weirdest thing ever. It wasn't even really a fight. Like she literally just punched me in the face. And they like broke us up and it was, yeah, it was just weird. I think she bust my lip. Yeah, random. And I really did not do a thing to her. But anyway, let's see. Um, turn on. Hmm. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how appropriate that question is. And I don't know how far I'm supposed to take it. So I'm just not going to answer it. Um, turn off. Um... Turn off. I don't want to seem shallow, but I hate when people don't have, like, swag. <laughs> That's kind of mean, I know. But seriously, I don't get it. Like, everybody should have their own swag. And I just don't like when people just don't. I don't know. Oh, I sound horrible. The reason I join YouTube. I think my friend, my cousin Kina, um she kind of like convinced me to start a youtube channel um she has started one and she just suggested she was like you know you're so creative and everything she was like my videos are so like just candid and everything she was like i think you would do a good job so yeah that's why i joined youtube that was like i think in 2011 or maybe 2012 um, but once I went natural is when I went full force on YouTube. So I really kind of, um, make it an official joining of YouTube is when I went natural, which that was in 2012. Please excuse all the noise. That's Taylor and Sky being bad. Um, fears. Um, I'm honestly afraid of death. Um, I'm not afraid of it. Um, as in like, oh my gosh, it's going to hurt or, you know, I don't know if I'm going to heaven or hell or anything like that. I think death is just scary, especially when you become a mother. Because either way you look at it, if you pass before your children, it's sad to think like how their life will be without you and if like somebody else comes into their lives to be their mom and yeah that's just scary and then oh I can't even say it the other way around is just as scary like scarier actually so yeah I am definitely afraid of you know losing that bond between mother and daughter like yeah <laughs> Like, that should have been the last question because now my mind is really messed up right now. <laughs> Alright, so the last thing that made you cry. Um, Devin and I had a, um, a fight the other day. So, yeah, that was the last thing that made me cry. Last time you said you loved someone. Today, me and my girls say <laughs> I love you all the time. Um, meaning behind your YouTube name. I actually changed my YouTube name to Yolanda Renee, but before it was Etc. Blog Mag, just like everything else. Um, but Etc. Blog Mag, and people always get confused by what it means, but as you guys know, Etc. means like, and like it just keeps going like a whole a plethora of things like a list of stuff um so etc just means everything like i touch base on a lot of stuff whether it's fashion beauty trends um natural hair whatever i want to blog about is under this umbrella etc and my and then blog comes in because it started out as a blog um, which is etc blogmag.com and I use mag because I wanted the blog to have kind of like a magazine type of feel so that's why it was called etc blog mag it used to be the entire thing like spelled out etc blog magazine but um, it just was too long so I just shortened everything so yeah so sometimes you may see me use the little abbreviation ETC, but it really is, etc. Just like you abbreviate it when you write a sentence. Um, last book you read. The last book I read, hmm, 
what was it? I think it was the Twilight um series. I love Twilight. No, Fifty Shades of Grey. Yeah, that was my last book. No, Bear to You because after Fifty Shades of Grey, I kept reading the books, but I only got to Bear to You. As a matter of fact, that reminds me, I need to download the other books because I want to read them. Because I think there's more. You know what? There's another book that I read. No, Bear to You is a whole different book. So Bear to You must be... I don't know. After Fifty Shades of Grey, there was another book. And I don't even remember the name of it. But that was the last book. And then I started reading the second part of that book, which was Bear to You. But I forgot what the first book was called. Oh my god, I suck. As you can see, it was a long time ago. And it actually was in 2013, like around, like... February <laughs> so I haven't been reading um the book you're currently reading I'm not reading anything <laughs> last show you watched the last show I watched was new girl last night I watched new girl last person you talked to um Taylor and Sky. <laughs> the relationship between you and the person you last text um the last person I text was SB, which is a mutual friend of Devin and I. Um, favorite food? Hmm. My fa Right now, my favorite food is freaking turkey burger. Turkey burgers. Oh, my God. Where have they been all my life? I remember eating turkey burgers in college. The last time I had turkey burgers before now, my current obsession was college. And I remember them being amazing in college, but I don't know how I fell off of the turkey burger thing. But I've been eating them like every day, like in a salad, sometimes on whole wheat buns. But yes, turkey burgers are where it's at. Um, place you want to visit. Um... I want to visit Germany like I heard there's like a lot of love over there as far as like natural hair and everything um and I think um I forgot the girl's name oh my god I feel so bad I used to know her name but she's the creator of um I love the do I think that's how she pronounced it it's spelled funny but I think it's I love the do and um yeah I love the do and do rags, yeah. But she's based out of Germany, and I just really want to visit there. Um, but short term, I'm going to New York this weekend, yes, to meet my lovely models for my event, Yolanda Renee Takes New York. Um, so, yeah, that's where I'm going. The last place you were. What does that mean? The last place I were in my house, I guess that's what they're saying. Um, if it's saying the last place you were as far as visiting it, it was New York. Um, do you have a crush? Yeah, I do have a crush. <laughs> and it's that Wayans kid off of the new girl. Off of new girl. He is so cute. Devin's gonna kill me. Um, last time you kissed someone. Today, I kiss my girls all the time. Last time you were insulted. The other day, Devin and I had an argument. Yeah, it was really bad. Um, favorite flavor of sweet. Favorite flavor of sweet? What does that mean? Isn't that a weird question? Favorite flavor of sweet? I don't know. I guess I can... I don't know. Don't laugh at me if I answer this wrong. But I like... um um. Honey barbecue wings from like um, Applebee's or Buffalo Wild Wings are really good. What instruments do you play? I don't play anything currently. I probably could still play them if I had them in my possession. But I used to play the clarinet, the flutes, the piccolo when I was in um, high school. Um, favorite piece of jewelry? Duh! I would have to say... My bamboo earrings because both of these are my favorite. But you guys know I just can't go without wearing earrings. So I couldn't go without wearing my chain. But yeah, I love bamboo earrings. I'm going to wear them forever. Like for real. 
Um, last sport you played. Is cheerleading a sport? Because, yeah, I used to be a cheerleader from high school into college. And, yeah, that was the last thing, last sport I played. Last song you sang. I don't sing, you guys. <laughs> I don't sing. Um, but if anything... It was probably a Michael Jackson song because Skylar has really been into Michael Jackson and she has me involved in her Michael Jackson obsession. So if she's watching Michael Jackson and she's singing, she says, Mommy, come on, say it. So yeah, I have to sing Michael Jackson. Um, favorite chat up line. What does that... I'm old. I must be old because I don't understand this question either. Favorite chat up line... I don't know what that means. Have you ever used it? Does that mean like Skype or something? Because I guess I, it would be Skype. <laughs> I don't know. And yeah, if it's Skype, if that's what they're asking, yes, I've used Skype. Yeah. <laughs> Last time you hung out with someone, it was, I want to say on Monday. Monday or Tuesday, um, I hung out with my girl Cherish, who has a blog um, that I help her start. It's CherishTheWord.net, and um, we hung out at Planet Fitness. We were working out there, and we got into these massage chairs and the water, or what is it, aqua bed or water bed? I don't know something, but oh my god, it was amazing. After our workout, it was really amazing. Who should answer these questions next? Questions people ask too. I don't know. I tag anyone. Whoever is watching this and you have a YouTube channel, I say do this tag. Questions people ask too. Let's see some other questions. It says, what lipstick are you wearing? I'm currently wearing... um nude pink lip liner from NYX and then I put MAC Candy Yum Yum on top of it and then I use MAC um, Oh Baby lip, lip gloss on top of that just to tone it down because you know usually Candy Yum Yum is like ah but I it toned it down by having the nude under it and then the lip gloss on top of it um Where'd you get your shirt? This actually is from my boutique. Um, it's a Bella t-shirt. It's a crop um, t-shirt. But I... Um, this is a Bella brand crop t-shirt. But I don't have a design on it. It's just a regular t-shirt. I think I ordered these just as samples before I actually started printing on them. But anyway, so those are all the questions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it wasn't too long. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video, which is going to be my favorites video. So I'll see you soon. Goodbye. Mwah.